terrifying, yes, but it totally fits the theory, and it's that precise, and it's actually very disturbing. Now, it might be ex post facto, but we're talking about Fox News, and you know how Fox News is, right? If we follow Fox News, there's other kinds of precision that are equally horrifying, and, you know, you could cross-reference, but you remember what happened at the beginning of the, the year, beginning of 2020? Well, that was after the beginning of, right? At the beginning of 2020, we were looking at all those monthly statistics that were being reported, specifically in Chicago, about the homicide rates. And then they started breaking them down weekly. And it was almost like they were, it was, it was kind of like what was happening in 2018. I mean, sorry, it was 2000, yeah, 2018. No, it was 2018, remember? There was that whole thing where there was like, the, like three days where the government was shut down, like the federal government. Yeah, the federal government was shut down for three days because there was something going on about the budget. And then somehow Trump and Schumer came to a deal. And then you cross-reference it with all those cadre references and those reports. And then you cross-reference it with the reports to the IAEA about Fukushima. And you were like, whoa, wait a second. Are they doing some sort of like strange quantum finance scam where they're trying to see if they can peg shit to levels of radiation reported in the Fukushima disaster? And you're like, that's crazy. There's no way, there's no way they can actually do that. And then you're like, well, what if they think that there are some sort of like quantum physicist, right? And that they're going to see if they can actually find a way to impact the readings or what's reported as the readings on radiation from Fukushima so that they can use it as some sort of rate in which to peg their deals, right? Well, the cadre thing didn't work out, but what did work out, right? Those homicides, yep. And I don't know if this is true or not. It's, it's this, I mean, you know, it's Fox News. You know how Fox News is, but it says right here, it's dated for, what's it dated for? August. It says it was published on August 1st. And you know how that goes. Whether they published it on August 1st and updated it on August 2nd. Oh my God, really? Right? And this is what it says. Chicago homicides increased 50% in 2020. 139% in July alone. 139% increase in July of 2020. Uh, that would be a year before July of 2021, which we got coming up. But what else was going on in July 2020? Which you would only know about if you knew about what was happening in May of 2020. And what all ended up happening? Well, a whole bunch of stuff got transferred in July, didn't it? I mean, that's when they started reporting on all, that's when all that stuff related to the election interference started happening. Yeah, I remember the whole <clears throat> guy who got fucking, uh, he got uh, pegged with, uh, or he got uh, attacked with those chemical weapons, remember? When did that happen? Yeah, well, why 139%? Because I just divided 3.2 by 23, and the rate would have been 0.139. So did somebody literally set it? I mean, come on, think about it. You know what was also going on in July? That AIG 10-year. That 10-year on AIG, and they hit a 0.139 on a 139% increase in reported homicides in July when all this shit's transferring. I mean, I don't know what to say on one hand, but on another hand, that's exactly what the fucking theory was in August of 2016. In Chicago. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Uh, is that why Dallas isn't going to fucking win? Because it was south side of Chicago versus west side of Houston? Yeah, I know, right? Well, fuck all of them. 